Evening chaps. Do I get one of them small mic clips that's clipped to your no? I'm really sorry guys, I know we I said we could do this today, but I've been put on call, so I'm gonna have to shoot at a really short notice. Um, can we schedule if you like? I know my street can get quite noisy, is that gonna be all right for filming? What, this? Yeah. Hello? Can you hear me? Do, do, do you want me to move that, um, the Alien vs Predator figure? I mean, it's in the back, is that, is that all right? Do I look at you or the camera? What, like this? Yeah, yeah, well, if you're comfortable like that, yeah. I'm fine mate, yeah. Fire away. I, I like to think of myself as a bit, a bit of a predator. Not, not a sexual predator, no. They say the true leader of the Shadow Clan is some sort of mystic or like a dragon or some shit. But I just think it's bollocks. I, I'm sorry, I'm really hot and I'm muffling all my words. Am I right to take this off? Yeah, sure, I think so. Oh man, yeah, it's, it's a tough gig. Uh, you've got to always be on your toes. Like, you know, I would say the boss is paranoid, but the kingpin of crime has nothing but enemies. Dr. Parallax, who we work for, he's boss. You know what I mean? He is a fucker. He goes fucking barmy, mate, when you see his old floor. And if it's not mopped or it's a tiny bit of dust, it goes fucking crackers, mate, big time. And I'm a big lad and he fucking scares me, do you know what I mean? And not like shit scared, cause I, because I'm not a pussy. I'd, I thought I was gonna get a cool, like, red ninja suit. That's what they showed us on the induction video anyway. But instead I got lumped with this black hoodie and a rag for a face mask. Like, a, yeah, you don't, I mean, he wants it clean, but you don't want anyone to see you clean it. I mean, look at the hoodie, it's one size fits all. It's a horrible fit. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Primark, actually. But <clears throat> that's just the tip of the iceberg. The standards are dropping. Uh, little Andre, he was cleaning cafeteria. Just, I mean, like everybody does. I mean, like you would in a school or like you would at, like a normal job. You know what I mean? There's always cleaners about, isn't there? He just gets women, so many women. Yeah, just sleeps with them. Gets rid of them. Sometimes, you know, he won't even pass her to the boys. I mean, that's that's the least good. He just sends them, gets it. Get her a taxi. Uh, sorry, mate. Do, do you want to send her by the staff room first? You know, all the way around? Why not? I mean, what a douchebag. But unfortunately, he didn't know that Dr. Parallax was hungry and was coming down to see uh, to get something to eat. And when he'd come down to get something to eat, seeing little Andre mopping floor, bang! Fucking shot him, so socking edge, you know what I mean? you think a clan of ninja assassins would be pretty strict on recruitment, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. But honestly, they'd literally take anyone with just a little bit of martial arts training. I mean, I've only got a green belt in karate and only done it for about a year. And my friend Waggy, he took one self-defence class and he got straight in, no problem. That one, my mate. You fucking evil bastard, you know what I mean? My friend actually used to already work for him, so I wasn't employed as such. But um, yeah, we had some beers and uh, the pizza guy came and uh, he wanted to, it was an accident. I, ki I basically killed the pizza delivery boy by accident. Where is the cunt, isn't he? I mean, who does that? N nobody. But I don't think they want to put the time, effort and money into training us. I think they rely on quantity over quality. I mean, they send dozens and dozens of us out to one target. He was asking for a tip, I thought he called me a tip, and it killed him. And the boss was impressed, so, you know, sue Ray-Bans. <laughs> Who wouldn't want a job here? It's crazy. Benefits. You should see us all jumping from rooftop to rooftop. I mean, it looks good, but inevitably some action hero is going to come along and take us all down in one go. It's just embarrassing. Yeah, you know, I've got casing a place down to an art form in my head like case in our place i mean this is my house but i can tell you now there's the front door there's the back door and i know that w windows windows uh, yeah windows Let's go. and they give us those ninja stars i mean they're pretty cool but none of us are ever shown how to use it cat flaps cat flaps letterbox You'd never think of it. I saw a midget trying to get through a letterbox once. 
that all I saw was the hand and the knife. Kill that fucker, I did. I've never hit anybody personally either. I, the only time I've actually hit someone is when I left them in my pocket, sat down, and it jabbed me in the ass. What do I do? Uh, I don't know, walk around, you know, underground base, with my machine gun, do you know what I mean? Uh, I make sure no one's sneaking around and that. Oh, I can do one really cool thing, check this out. If you can just flick the light off, yeah, yeah, on and off real quick. Pretty cool, right? I can do it in a puff of smoke as well, if I've got the right kit. We don't get trained. We sort of have to lie to get the job, do you know what I mean? We say, yeah, we're good, yeah, we can fire as guns and that. Have you seen this? The issue is with one of these. Ah, it's an umbrella. I have to buy it myself. Do you not have like, military training? Or? No, like I say, I mean, I have, because I'm ex-military. Do you know what I mean? I were in cadets. Have you um, got like a secret ninja base? Uh, kind of. Have you seen that massive pagoda in the middle of town? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think I have. Yeah, we, we meet there, but now I think about it, it's kind of obvious. If a spy come into the base, mate, I'd run all the way, mate, because they're trained and we're not trained. It's all these out-of-date methods that they just refuse to let go of. It's like when they make a bunch of us just crash through the front window. Like, it ruins the element of surprise. It never works. And that will, you know, ultimately end up in the old underground base self-destructing. Because that's what they do. Do you know what I mean? Do you know how hard you've got to throw yourself through a double-glazed window to actually smash through it? It hurts like a bastard. I've worked for two other places before. I don't know if I told you that before, but I've worked for two other places before, and both times, all places gone up. Do you know what I mean? And they can see you coming. They can see you flying towards the window. Why, why use that method? Why not just break down the door? You hear that countdown, mate? I'm in car park straight away. I mean, it's right near where I walk anyway. Do you know what I mean? Oh, man, you, you see some weird shit like it becomes your sort of every day like i could be standing around and you've got a hundred ninja assassins crashing through the windows and i don't even bat an eyelid um that's not normal right i mean just for once i'd like to enter through the front door and actually surprise someone i'll tell you one but don't go spreading it about, right? I shot one person once. It was my mate John, but that were it on, that one to walk. There's cults. I mean, you wouldn't think of it. Mobs versus cults. Scientology. Fucking hell. You know, Tom Cruise. Yeah, yeah, assassin. I know you're thinking, he's an actor. Have you seen Mission Impossible? Training of an assassin. Anybody I sympathise with? I sympathise with... Cults are crazy, yeah. Cleaners, I, I sympathise with cleaners, mate, because that place is fucking massive, do you know what I mean? A few of them kind of have the option to sort of join the cult before they get killed. It's like, do you want, oh, do you want to die, motherfucker, or do you want to be a Jehovah's Witness? And my mate's like, Jehovah's Witness? Loads of toilets, you know what I mean? Tons of toilets. And uh, they've got that great big fucking monorail. All that stuff, I can take in my stride, but there's still one thing that really bothers me. Every so often, you get one, you know, maverick cop, quote unquote, anti-hero, who decides to tear, you know, he's gonna tear up the place, he's gonna work his way to the gaffer inch by inch. Monorail? We sit on that for half an hour a night, you know what I mean? Where I pop down and I say hello to, to Roy on the other end and he says hello to me, do you know what I mean? So He's shooting this guy, he's shooting this guy, he's stabbing this guy in the neck, he's pushing that guy off the balcony. Sometimes they do come over and they say, look, Andy, mate, we'll give us an hand with this because you're a big lad. And I say, look, mate, you get paid to do your job I'll get paid to do mine. Nah, fuck off. 
I'll smack you. He's worked his way up to the boss and he's got the boss on his knees. And the boss is like, go on, shoot me. Shoot me and I've won. You'll be just like me. I think getting beaten up has it takes its toll on your social life. He he puts on the safety and he's like, no, you're going to jail. You're not worth it. What? You're not worth it. He's not worth it. But the rest of us hired schlubs are. Fucking kill yourself, mate. It pisses me right off. And obviously I can't tell people that I'm a ninja. So I have, I have to tell them that my girlfriend hates me. If you pretend to be dead, that way, you know, if the, if the kingpin goes to prison, at least you're not dead. I mean, why, why, why should we die? So this one time, right, we were chasing this target and he went into a brothel. We all come steaming in through the windows. You can just get up, grab your shit from your room and your locker and just go. So I grabbed the bottom of the neck. I grabbed the Adam's apple and I just like, uh, uh, and so I rip it out. Or grab a gold statue, take a helicopter, go retire. I mean, that's probably the plan. That's probably how I'd want to go out. Yeah, like fake my death, maybe retire. So I just fucking went uh, and I smacked him in the face. And then he just ran off. Yeah, I'd say I get paid quite a bit, you know what I mean? To, to say I don't really do it, you, you look now. Hey, up. Fucking hell. You know, it was my first threesome. And that's bragging rights, right? I mean, what you, I mean you, when you're hanging out on the job with the other henchmen, you go, had a threesome. Hang on. Oh, that's the boss. You know what that is, don't you, mate? That's underground base, that is. I'm glad you didn't go into fucking work, I tell you that. I guess it's not really my place to say how a ninja assassin clan should be run, but you, you can clearly see that management need to make some changes. He's calling me to take care of his gay-ass little dog. I, I, made, I made one comment out of genuine concern about his eating habits, and he's got me looking after his fucking little dog. Well, my suggestion was that the women ninjas should have really tight catsuit-like ninja uniforms. But it never got red. I'm all fucking paid up till end of month and all. Lost the dog three times. Uh, it's always a different chihuahua, but he doesn't know. What? They? Fucking mate, they all cunts. Yeah, I'm sorry, we're going to have to call it a day there. Um, just grab your kit. You guys can see yourselves out. And uh, don't steal anything, OK? Because I know where you live. I think any job would do. I think if, if all ninja assassins are run this way, then I'd rather go and work at Tesco. Seriously, I, I know where you live. Um, I was at your houses last, last night. Um, watching you. Oh, yeah, I know this John. Fucking hell, yeah. But what are you going to do? It's a job at the end of the day. No, is it dentist? <laughs>